Hey everyone, it's new project day and this one's pretty cool. So let me give a little description. This, as everyone knows, is a fidget spinner. This is an Arduino. And this is both of those things combined. It's going to be pretty cool and uh, I'm excited to see how it turns out. So let's get building and then I'll tell you how it works. Let's go. Okay, it's finished and it works. Can't believe it works so well. You may see it flickering a bit on camera, but that's just because of the refresh rate with the frames per second and with your eyes, it's almost perfect. And uh, let me get this set up and I'll tell you how it works. Okay. So the way this works and how it knows how fast it's spinning and everything is that I put magnets inside of the bearing caps, two of them, and uh, they reverse polarity, so one's facing one way north and south, the other one's facing south north. And there are these small little um, hall latches, so when the magnet passes by and it's facing north south, it tells it to flip to say zero in the program. And then when it is facing south north and it passes by, then it um, tells it to put a one, basically. So what that allows it to do is know which way it is spinning. And every time it passes by those sensors, because there's two of them, it can determine how fast it's spinning. And that triggers the event to start the uh, writing the words. So the way it actually writes it, it's called persistence of vision. So on the camera, there's a bit of a weird effect with the frames per second, as I mentioned. But with your eyes, your eyes continue to leave that light kind of, your brain kind of tricks you into thinking that light is still there. So if you imagine that this circle is actually a straight line, like this, then as the lights go through, uh, they either turn on and off making the letters and all this is in the program So what you end up with is lights turning on and off and writing the display as if The display is there the same way you can see the entire circle even though you know it's only three arms So I wrote this program. It's open source obviously and it's got a number of different settings the buttons are kind of hard to push because they're recessed. I need to fix that, but that's a small thing. And there's the USB for uh, programming it here. So you can go through the different menus, and the menus are signified by what LED it's on. So you push the button in, and it goes to the next program. So if we start with the beginning, this is the first set setting, which uh, shows the RPM, possibly. My calculation could be slightly off. I wrote this very fast. So, as you can see, it's going slower as it slows down. 
And there's room for improvement in the program too. So it's by no means perfect and I expect some of you guys to work on it as well. Program two is just the hello world. And you can see it triggers where the magnets are. So if you move the caps, then they move around. So it says hello world, as all Arduinos do. Uh, what's next? Oh, this one's cool. This one counts how many times it's been spun since the program first started. I'm going to actually add this so that it saves it to the chip. So even when you power it down, it doesn't reset. So you can see like how high your score is, basically. So that's a cool one. This, again, is open source. I don't know if we'll do like a Kickstarter or something. Probably not. It's kind of complicated and it's kind of cool for people just to make their own. Um, all these files will be available online. And I may have some of the circuit boards for sale on Tindy. I'm not sure when I'll do that. The body is, again, it's 3D printed on Shadeways where I get everything, obviously. And uh, it may be able to be 3D printed on a home printer. I'll uh, talk to some people and see if it is. There's uh, three batteries inside and it also charges just through the USB where you can program it as well. So you program it using the Arduino IDE. An obvious disclaimer is that you cannot put regular coin cell 3 volt batteries in this. This has to have the 3.6 volt lithium ion batteries, coin cells, because you don't want to be charging non-rechargeable batteries. Yeah, first ever Persistence of Vision fidget spinner. I'd call that a success. What do you think? Leave a comment, leave a like if you like it, and uh, subscribe, and maybe I'll be giving one of these away. I probably will, because I've got like five boards, so if you want one, probably subscribe so you can be notified when that happens. But yeah, Arduino fidget spinner. Pretty cool. Anyways, you know the deal. Be good and have a good day.